Come on. With a common denominator. Okay, so this ain't your average everyday Peter McKinnon, you know, $400 bag, $500 bag. This is just an average bag that I use for my camera gear and my tech gear. Yeah, so I don't exactly have one camera bag. I sort of have two, like I have this smaller carrying case and then I have, oh, a little bit of bumpy road here. And then I have this bag. Um, and I kind of use this bag for pretty well everything, like a gym bag, camera bag, tech bag. But um, how about let's just get into the studio and talk about this bag and my other bag, both of them, a little bit more. I'll uh, see you there. That looking oh yeah that's the stuff I tell you this out the way okay that's better okay let's get this bag off and kind of go over everything okay before we get started I'm gonna go upstairs quick and grab a coffee few moments later okay yeah that's better okay let's adjust this ISO here quick Make sure we are good to go. Let's, um, yeah, fuck, there we go. Whew. Okay, so what we got going on here, this is my everyday kind of day-to-day, -day, what I carry pretty well all the time. And I'm also gonna throw in some things that I don't always have in here, but if I'm going far, I do have in here. Okay, let's start out with this smaller one and we'll go over what I typically carry in this. This is pretty well what I have on me. I keep this in my larger bag when I'm going farther just because it's small and it fits in there. But I, the things I keep in here are my most important things. Like when I was out just today uh, shooting, I will usually just rock it like this. So I have quick access to the things that are in here. I'll show you what I got going on in here. Are my drone, drone controller, and my other lens. So these are my essentials that I keep in here. The small pocket I have my drone filters. So the reason I have this is just for quick access so I could keep my backpack on. These are the things that I usually have to grab on too quick when I'm trying to do a shot and I don't have to be, you know, pulling the whole bag off, running through it. So this is usually what I'll keep here. All of this stuff fits in here like perfectly. So uh, that's why I kind of keep this with me. It fits very well. So this is just the Herschel Supply Co brand, like kind of, I guess you could call it a fanny pack if you want. Um, I pretty well just call it my carrying case. And yeah, it comes in very handy. I really do like this thing. Okay and my bag. All right, so it's water resistant material. It helps to keep all your items in there dry. A dry computer is a happy computer, right? 
So it's a 26 liter backpack, comes in about two pounds and it fits up to a 15 inch laptop. I don't know, most of the biggest reason I got this thing was the easy access to the laptop and the style. I think it just looked really nice and it really works for me. So I don't see myself buying a $400 camera bag like probably anytime soon, even once I get a bunch more camera gear. I just don't see it happening. Um, at least not for a while, but who, who knows, like what if I get a couple cameras and you know, I need all that extra space to hold everything. We'll see, we'll see. But uh, yeah, for right now, at least for the next couple years to come, I probably will just keep this bag. It works perfect for me. Oh yeah, 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 before I forget, um, I do have this thing too. For any extra gear that I wanna use, just fit it in here and throw that in the bottom and you're good to go too. Okay, let's just kind of go through all the pouches in here. In this pouch, you do have a couple little slots in here. I always bring this extra iPhone just in case if I'm trying to shoot with my camera and also my phone, then I have this to fly my drone. Sometimes I try to have all three going at once. It definitely helps trying to get every as many different shots as possible. So I do keep this in here. I don't have a lot of things in here because I don't need a lot of things in here. Um, so you also have this side pouch, um, filters I keep in, in the side pouch. In this part here, this is just Velcro and what I usually keep in here is a, um, is usually my tripod to be honest or else this. And I kind of just, just like that. Cause it is Velcro and it does stay on there. Like it's not going, that's not going nowhere. It does have all these little like places you could put hooks. Yeah, anyways, those hooks, if you need to hook anything on the side here, you're good to go for there. So to get into the main pouch where like I keep most of the big things, like my smaller Herschel bag, it is Velcro, but th there's also this little hook that you could hook it. And what I usually do is just roll this up really well if it's like going quite a ways, put it far down as I can and then hook it. Um, and that's usually good for that. There is a zipper like at the top too to get quick access so you don't have to actually open all of that. And you can just grab things out of here, which is very handy so you don't actually have to take the hook off and everything. And the thing I like about it too is the straps actually just fly right over backwards so you can open it up like this and you're good to go. So this bag is a Timbuktu Spire backpack. It's like the 2.0 one, I believe. I think they call it like the laptop backpack. Boy, that was a mouthful. Um, but anyways, that's kind of, I think that's why they have it like this. But so like, I'll show you how quick you can have access to things in here without taking these off. You do, I do keep my iPad in here when I'm going far places, but like most of the time I don't, I'm not bringing this with me if I'm going out shooting, right? And the thing too is like, this is a tech bag for me and a camera bag. I don't have a ton of camera gear. So this is like 100% perfect for what I'm going for. The mesh back part makes it so it's not like really hot on your back when you're wearing this in the summer. Cause trust me here in Kelowna, it is so hot. It fits really well. It does have this buckle here. Um, you could tighten it up pretty well. You do have a uh, bottle opener, which is 100% useful especially on those hot days, gotta open up a Corona. And on the inside, um, there are tons of pouches in here. What I keep in here, my charger for if any of my batteries die or my phone dies, extra DJI Mini 2 battery, and an extra camera battery. So what else I have in here are just a pair of shoes because most of the time I am wearing sandals or shoes that I don't care if they get really dirty. So like, let's say I meet my girlfriend somewhere and we're gonna go to eat or something. I sometimes like to have a pair of shoes with me, clean shoes. These are getting dirty though. Yeah, there's actually a couple like pouches for laptops and stuff you could put in. There's two. So like, let's say I didn't want to bring my Mac. I have two pouches that I could put those in. So um, yeah, that definitely helps. This bag is kind of amazing. Like I've loved this bag. It's waterproof and it gets dirty. I literally grab a damp cloth and I could just wipe it and it goes clean. It's that easy to clean. Yeah, I got this bag when I got my Super 73 actually, just because I knew I needed some extra extra space and extra storage for holding all my things, right? So I do also keep my little light in there, but it's actually right over there. 
kind of threw it up once I got home. And this little pouch in the side here is usually where I keep my speaker. Yeah, that's kind of my quick backpack tech camera bag review. Um, not exactly a review, just kind of an overview of what I got in there. Um, I also did just put out a couple videos about my iPad. If you wanna check those out, um, yeah, they're kind of reviews about what I go over, about what I like about this iPad and what I don't like about it. So if that's something you're interested in, check, definitely check it out. It'll be linked in the description below. And um, yeah, thank you for clicking on the video. I really appreciate it. If you like this type of content, definitely give it a like and consider subscribing. So I guess those like hooks are called daisy chain webbing. So it says on the internet, <laughs> So like I could make this video saying all the things that I carry in it, but a lot of the times I have these just random things in my pockets or on my head, like my glasses or my AirPods are usually just in my pocket. But these are things that I do carry with me. Maybe I will do an everyday carry video. Yeah, if that's something anybody be interested in, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Oh, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Anyways, I better uh, call this video short. We'll see you in the next one.